Welcome Air Signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius to your Tarot Love Reading for Is this a Twin Flame or a Soulmate Connection? So this is for Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. And it is intended for some, for those of you who are in a connection. So if you're seeing someone, if you're in a relationship with someone, even if you have a romantic interest in mind as I do this spread, I hope this will help clarify or confirm the feelings that you feel for this individual and we'll give you a little bit of an insight here. Now before I begin the tarot spread, I just want to say to you all, thank you for your continued support. For those of you that have reached out to me for personal readings, thank you for the the likes, the dislikes, the comments. Uh, thank you for the support, for tuning in guys. If you're interested in getting a reading with me, please feel free to inquire. I am going to list my email address at the bottom of the video here where the show more section is, along with the different types of readings that I offer. Okay, now with all of that being said, let's take a look at the messages Tara wants to reveal to us here. Air signs. So is this a twin flame or a soulmate connection? Or is it perhaps neither that you're currently in? Ten of Cups here, the Six of Cups, strong water sign, Judgment, the Magician here, the Fool, and the Three of Swords. This person here that you are currently involved with, Gemini, this person could be a strong water sign, a Cancer, a Pisces, a Scorpio, there could also be a fellow water sign, a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. A very strong connection here. It feels like a soul connection, like a soulmate connection. This could be a soulmate that you're currently involved with. Okay, I feel like this is someone whom you feel a very strong spiritual bond with, and this person feels very, very strongly bonded to you here. They feel a very strong connection, an almost indescribable connection. It's almost a type of connection that they cannot put into words. They don't necessarily understand the emotions that they feel, possibly because it is foreign to them, possibly it is because they haven't felt this way before here. It is very strong. The Six of Cups could indicate that you have been romantic. Either you have been romantic lovers in the past, you guys have loved in, or you have known each other in the past. There's a very strong familiarity between yourself and this person. It could be because you have a past life connection with this person. You have lived together in previous lifetime, whether in the previous lifetime there have been a love interest or even a family member or even like a close friend or acquaintance here. There is something there. For others of you, I feel like when this person met you, Within the first five minutes, they were able to tell that you were going to be someone very special in their life. And I feel like air signs, you felt the same way here. Now with the six of cups, there is something, there's almost something very innocent to this connection. Something very innocent, something very youthful, maybe even playful. This person could be a little bit younger than yourself here. Guys, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, you may be dealing with someone who is a little bit, uh, there may be a bit of an age gap between the two of you. There's also, as I mentioned earlier, that odd sense of familiarity. There's something about them that seems extremely familiar to you or to them here. And I believe it's because your souls see that recognition within each other. Okay, but it also could be that perhaps maybe if you've already met their family members, Perhaps there is something about their family here that maybe resembles yours. Perhaps it is the, the love for arts or the fact that you guys share the same creative, the same passion for uh, certain uh, creative interests. So you guys have similar interests here. There is something here that is definitely bonding you together. A very strong bond here. This bond seems almost unbreakable. Okay, I'm not, it's not without its obstacles here and it's not without its pain but I definitely feel like you've got something very special here very special with the ten of cups this is I feel like there is a very successful future for the two of you the universe is definitely lying is lining things up for you and has lined things up for you even 
Take a pause now and even think about the way that you've met this person. Doesn't it seem a little bit strange? Doesn't it seem just a little bit coincidence how the two of you met and how the two of you have managed to still keep things going until now? It's because the universe has, it's because you've attracted this with the, with the, with the skills of the magician here, with that, you know, you've manifested this into your life and the universe has responded here to your call. So there is definitely, I feel like there is a future for the two of you here. There is a likelihood that the two of you might get engaged, you might get married, you might settle down and have children, you might move in together at a point in your life. But this person has entered your life for a reason. Because I feel like they're going to be a significant part of your future here. And you're going to play a very significant role in their future as well. This is someone who's already making plans. They're preparing and making plans for a future for the two of you together. This is someone who sees you in their future and you see them and you see them in yours as well. With judgment card, I need. I need you guys to, especially air signs, you are in your head a lot, okay? And I know um, I know you guys aren't very big on, uh, you know, emotional, like you guys are much more bigger on logic rather than emotion, okay? Because I understand emotions doesn't make sense to you, and uh, logic does, and you have to intellectualize your emotions basically but i need you to stop doing that because i need you to surrender i need a, i need you to surrender yourself to the emotions stop always coming from a place of thinking or a place of judgment i feel like some of you could be you could be judging the situation a little bit unfairly or you could be judging them a little bit unfairly i do feel like with the three of pen the not the three of pentacles goodness the three of swords here I'm inclined to say that the two of you have had a bit of an emotional experience. You've shared a bit of an emotional experience that was painful here, that, have, that had really hurt you. Or perhaps you are still going through this emotional experience. Perhaps your, your soulmate here has hurt you. Perhaps they've betrayed you. Perhaps they've deceived you. Um, or they've inflicted some sort, of, uh, em, some sort of emotional pain onto you. Now, some of you may be thinking, okay, if, if he or she has done that, it's not a soulmate. But you have to understand, soulmates are still people. And at the end of the day, they're still capable just, you know, they're, they're capable of what anyone else is, of uh, to love and to hurt. So, you know, some people excuse, make excuses for them. But at the end of the day, twin flames and soulmates are still people, okay? And they're capable of being loved and they're capable of um, hurting and being hurt in return. So I do feel like a lot of you have gone through a, a, an emotional experience or two and this connection that you share with this person, it can, it can at times feel like an emotional roller coaster here. But with the judgment and the three of swords, you need to forgive. I'm not sure if there is a past, if this person has a past. And if so, I feel like you need to forgive the past, forgive their past, or you need to forgive any of their past mistakes. And I need you to, you know, come into this relationship or this con or this connection here without, uh, without judgment here. So focus on this connection, but see if you can focus on this connection without attaching too much judgment to it, okay? And with the fool, I really do feel like you just, you need to surrender yourself here. Instead of thinking, I know you guys are always thinking ahead and thinking to the future, uh, my air signs, but you need to surrender to the moment because sometimes when we, we miss out on the moment and who knows what uh, missed opportunities, uh, as a result, you may encounter if you constantly keep thinking ahead. Be in the moment with this person and really surrender yourself to the moment and um, to, you know, to to the emo to that to that emotional experience here. Because I feel like if you keep looking, if you keep looking too far ahead, if you keep thinking too far ahead, I feel like this could really. You could really miss this. This could really be a missed opportunity for some of you. Okay, so. Just allow the connection to flow here uh, fluidly and organically. With the magician here, I definitely feel like this is a connection that you've manifested here. And uh, whether or not, I don't feel like there is anything that you could have done that could have changed 
Like, for instance, this person is meant to be in your life. Had you had said yes instead of no, or, you know, if, if, the, if you guys wouldn't have gone out on your first date, or if you hadn't turned that corner and bumped into them. However it happened, if it didn't happen then, it would have happened now. So regardless of the timing, this connection here was bound to manifest and it was bound to happen. I definitely feel like this person is going to be a big part of your future. No connection, okay, whether it's a twin flame or a soulmate or any other connection outside of that is without its obstacles, is without its hurt, it's without its pain. What determines the strength and the foundation of your connection is how the two of you, how the two of you present, uh, how the two of you meet the obstacles that present themselves and how the two of you can overcome those obstacles because every connection is going to be faced with some sort of untimely obstacle or you know emotional experience it's how the two of you can conquer that it's how the two of you that can get that can get together and through it that is going to determine whether or not you guys are made to last or not Alrighty, Air Signs, I really hope that the spread here has uh, resonated with you and has provided you with some, some insight and some guidance into move, moving forward with your connection. Please feel free to leave behind any comments here and uh, please don't forget to show your support to the channel by subscribing, by sharing or commenting below. For those of you that would like a reading, feel free to connect. Otherwise, take care guys wherever you are in the world and I will catch up with you later in the week.